uh, obviously great bounce back win for us. Um, you know, I think total team effort, obviously. Um, 52%, 53% field goal percentage, 70% in the second half, 17 assists, uh, rebounding. Uh, great job all around. And, and as I look here, Cloran, you know, had 14 points. Uh, most of those, I think, were in the second half, six rebounds. And Malik, who's here, had, you know, one of those type of complete games with points, steals, seven steals, two blocks, drew eight fouls. So uh, great to see. And um, it's a great way to bounce back from Friday. Yeah, it was real difficult, but then again, we we didn't play Kent State basketball. We didn't share the ball how we usually supposed to share against Akron. So we knew if we would have got back to that, when we get back to that, we back to Kent State basketball. And then just really, what's it like playing defense when you have Karan and Chris Bateman? One of them is always out there to guard the three for you guys. Uh, it's great. It's great. Uh, I have at the bigs, five man. It's, it's it's real great. And then, just as a team, you guys had five players score over ten points. I guess just what's it like when you see everybody on the team contributing and really just whatever happens is happening for you guys. Yeah. Uh, on that, uh, it, we really don't care about the points to be honest because like it'd be so spread it out. You'll look up, everybody have six points and we up by 13, you know? So uh, we really start scoring. Like me, I started scoring when it was in zone. They dropped back, I got open shots, or I just got a nice drop off pass to Cloran or Chris. And then Cloran, you had 14 points, career high. I guess just talk about your game. Uh, my guards did a good job finding me. Uh, I play off them, so they make plays for me. So I just finish everything they, they throw at me. And then you guys extended the winning streak to the, at home. So I guess just what's it like for you to play, especially creating a lot of big, big atmosphere type plays? What's it like playing in front of the fans? Uh, it's fun, very exciting. Uh, it brings a lot of adrenaline and makes everybody play harder, or make me play harder and freak more freely. You good? Yep. All right, yep. It's you your first time here? Mm hmm. Oh, that's I never did, no. Let's make it a habit. All right, All right, All right, right fellas. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. We'll give you what we got, 2.30? And then after the last game, a lot, of, a lot of things you said were just the effort wasn't there for you guys. How would you describe that tonight? Yeah, I, I don't know that I'd say effort, but just the execution and, and commitment to playing. You know, I think both of these guys said Kent State basketball. Like the commitment to playing the way we need to play to win wasn't there. Uh, it wouldn't be effort, isn't what I would have called it last game, but just the commitment to playing the right way. And tonight I thought, you know, again, when we have 17 assists and we're plus 19 on the glass and getting all those points in transition and getting 10 steals, you know, blocking seven shots, when we're doing those things, that's when we're playing at our best. It's when our defense creates offense. And, um, you know, tonight I thought we did a great job of that. Again, 10 steals. I, I'd have to look when the last time we did that in league play. It's been a while. So that's our formula for success. Um, sharing the basketball, creating turnovers, you know, protecting the paint. That's what we do well, getting out in transition. And if we can continue to do that, that, that that's been our formula all year. And I'd say on Friday, you know, we, we didn't play that way. Yeah, G Geo more than likely is out for the season. Um, I'd be really surprised if he's back. I think you probably saw him with, with something on his hand. I don't think I'm allowed to tell you exactly what the injuries are. Like, there's some rules involved in that. But I, I would find it highly unlikely that he plays this year, So the rest of the season. So we have to make adjustments as a team and um, sort of pick up the slack for, for the things that he did has done really well for us for a number of years. And then, he, like I was telling him, he had five players score ten or more. Just how dangerous can the team be when everybody's contributing like that? Yeah, I, I think, you know, Sin is, is going to be our leading scorer on most nights. Um, Malik, Myron, you know, those guys have been consistently scoring. Jalen's been consistently scoring. Um, but as we move forward here, again, because Gio has been so good at so many of those things for us, moving the basketball, making big shots, making big plays, you know, we have to make some adjustments in having, you know, the guys come off the bench. Chris had 14, Jalen seven, 
Uh, Julius hit that three late. Um, but along with that, they had 11 rebounds, uh, three blocks. Their percentages were good. Like, those things are really important for us. And, and you know, Rico and Julius are going to play even bigger roles as we move forward. We just got to sort of figure that out. Um, but that's good good for our, our team. That's what that's what our team needs. Then you're 3-1 following the loss, but the one loss being against these teams that played well. Why is this team able to just respond so well? Yeah, I don't know the, the answer to that. I think it's probably two things. One, we haven't lost a ton, which is good. So it's only happened a few times that we've had to do that. Um, but I think our guys have responded you know, to – I think they mentioned the film that we watched. Like, we watched a lot of film on uh, Sunday about some of the things that we needed to get back to doing. And tonight, I think we did that at a, at a really high level. Then you shoot 70% in the second half, I guess. That's why you were able to have so much success there. Yeah, I think a lot of that was creating turnovers. They played some zone, and we were able to get good looks. Um, you know, I think there were a lot of factors to that. But... That, that that that's not always going to happen what what we need to make sure we continue to do is defend at a high level which we did tonight creating those turnovers creating steals blocking shots at the rim if we can do that then you know whether we shoot 70 percent or, or in the first half we shot 38 percent we were up nine so that won't matter all that much as long as we as long as we do those other things and then lastly this next game against Buffalo is going to be the first time playing a team for the second time yeah yeah, that yeah. Yeah, that so we'll, we'll we obviously have to watch the film on on what we did well and what we need to improve upon. Uh, I'm sure they're going to do the same thing, but that'll be good for us because every game here on out's a team that we've already played, so we'll have to continue to get better at that. I, I also just we we just real quick cuz we have a facilities person who's leaving, who's Micah, who's done a great job for us. So I want to make sure that I say thank you to her. Uh, for all the work she's done. And was today an academic day? I thought I saw Angie. Yeah, all the 3.0 people. And Angie Hull, who's taken a new job, who's done a great job with our guys. We have the highest CPA in school history. She's not our academic advisor, but she oversees all of academics. So just want to make sure I shout out those people who really help us a lot behind the scenes. So thanks.